I think one of the things that I so admired about Ghana before I came and have come to admire even more is this sort of culture of tolerance. You have religious tolerance. Um, the chief imam preaches about religious tolerance. Um, you have a lot of inter intermarriage. Um, you have a lot of ethnic tolerance. And, and that, again, has contributed to Ghana's long-term peace and stability. It's a, it's a Ghanaian value, I think. And the United States isn't asking for special rights for LGBTQ persons. We're asking that they receive the same rights that all other Ghanaians do. Um, I also want to be really clear that we're not I'm trying to promote homosexuality or anything like that. We're, we don't want your, your straight children to be gay. We want your gay children to be safe. And I think it's very important that, that the, any sort of threat on one group encroaches on demonstrates that rights of other people can be encroached upon. And discrimination of any kind, frankly, is bad for the system. Um, in, in the case of this kind of discrimination, it will be bad for public order. We've already seen an uptick in violence against LGBT persons, which I think is terribly unfortunate. Um, it's bad for public health because people won't seek the kind of health care they need, for example, for HIV or monkeypox, if they think they're going to be stigmatized. That's bad not just for the LGBT community, but for everybody. Um, it could be bad for the Ghanaian economy, because there will be pressure from companies to say, oh, I can't headquarter in Ghana if my staff won't be safe, or if the rights of ordinary Ghanaians are not safe, or if people are not safe on the streets. It kind of sends out that signal. Um, and, and the issue of discrimination is one that, that I feel strongly about.